Hey there, future scientists and masters of disaster. Ever looked at a mountain and thought, you know what that needs? A giant fiery explosion of goo? Well, you're in the right place. Today, we're building our very own volcano, and I promise it's going to be lavaly. Get it? But first, what even is a volcano? Is it just an angry mountain with a tummy ache? Kinda. Deep below our feet, the Earth's crust is broken into giant puzzle pieces called tectonic plates. These plates are always drifting around on a layer of super hot gooey rock called the mantle. Sometimes they crash, and sometimes they pull apart, creating a path for hot rock called magma to rise. This magma is lighter than the rock around it, so it floats upward, looking for a way out. It collects in a big underground pocket called a magma chamber. Think of it like a giant underground soda bottle. As more magma and gas bubbles fill the chamber, the pressure starts to build, and build, and builds. Finally, the pressure gets so high, kaboom, the magma blasts through the surface. Once it's outside, we call it lava. That, my friends, is a volcanic eruption. All right, let's build our own kitchen counter catastrophe. Time to gather your gear. You'll need a plastic bottle, a tray to contain the awesome mess, and some modeling clay. And for our eruption fuel, warm water, dish soap, red food coloring, baking soda, and finally vinegar. First, place your plastic bottle right in the center of your tray. This will be our volcano's core. Next, start squishing that modeling clay all around the bottle to build your mountain shape. Get creative. Add some ridges, some rocks, make it look rugged and powerful. Make sure you leave the opening of the bottle clear at the top. That's the vent where the lava will escape. For some extra prehistoric drama, why not add some tiny trees Rawr. and a dinosaur or two? Rawr! A final spin to admire our masterpiece. It looks magnificent, and it's almost ready to blow. Now for the fun part. Let's mix our magma. First, fill the bottle about two-thirds full with warm water. Add about six drops of red food coloring. We want that authentic, fiery lava color. Now, for extra foamy fun, squeeze in a good squirt of dish soap. This will make the eruption extra bubbly. The next ingredient is our secret fuel. Carefully add two heaping tablespoons of baking soda. Give the bottle a tiny gentle swirl to mix it all up. Our magma chamber is now fully charged. This is the moment you've been waiting for. The final ingredient. The magic potion. The vinegar. Get ready for the final countdown. Here we go, in three, two, one. Eruption, pour in about half a cup of vinegar and stand back. Whoa, look at it go. The foamy lava is flowing all down the sides of our mountain. The dish soap is trapping the gas bubbles, making it an extra bubbly, super foamy mess. Success. That was awesome, but what you just saw wasn't magic. It was pure chemistry. Your baking soda is a base called sodium bicarbonate. And the vinegar is an acid called acetic acid. When you mix a base and an acid, they have a chemical reaction. They trade atoms and make all new stuff. The most important new thing they make is a gas called carbon dioxide. It's the same gas that makes the fizz in your soda pop. All those gas bubbles needed to escape, so they rushed up and out of the bottle, pushing all the red, silky water out with them. In a real volcano, expanding gases like water vapor and carbon dioxide are what provide the explosive power. So you basically created the same kind of pressure buildup, just with way less fire and a much easier cleanup. And that's how you make an erupting volcano. A perfect project to wow your friends and family. Remember, the best part of science is getting to make a glorious mess while learning something new. 
Thanks for joining our explosive adventure. Stay curious and keep experimenting. That was fun. We post new science experiments every week. Ask a grown-up to help you subscribe to Tender Intellects so you don't miss the next one.